change anything in the way you think about this football game? Honestly, I don't even know their record. They're uh, three and seven. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just focus on the opponent. Just look at it as, as a, another big game. Take, I think every game's a big game here. Everything counts, especially in the month of November. So just got to get ready, stay focused all throughout the week. How much has last year's game against Michigan State been mentioned here at Ohio State amongst yourselves? Um, I mean, it's, it's a new year. So, I mean, we, right now we just focus on this week and what they've done up to this far. So just focus on what what it is this week, what we have to accomplish this week. You don't feel like winning this year, especially if you send a message, would be somewhat cathartic? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we just go out and play. Not even in the back of your mind at all? Nah, nah. We just, we know we have one objective, that's to win the game. And then just just execute every every down, every play, execute. Taekwon, the defense has been very consistent, at least from our eyes all season. And now the offense is playing the best they've played all year. Can you sense an overwhelming amount of confidence that you guys haven't had all year right now at this point? Like when you guys were on the plane, when you guys got back, this is as high as the confidence you guys have had. And how important is that going into the two games? Uh, I mean, we, we, we play it at a really, really high level. Focus has been very, very good and outstanding. So, I mean, guys are doing like the little things more. And I mean, it's, it means a lot more, especially in the month of November. So you can see like things are kind of bonded together and guys are coming closer together because this is when everything really counts. We've, hear, we've heard the little things a lot. Like Billy Price was saying, people are enjoying the little things a little more. What are those little things that you guys are noticing that you're not taking for granted? Just the time. Uh, you know, you, what, I think we only guarantee like what, 13 more days together for sure, something like that. So it's, it's just the time, you know. These seasons, they roll by and people graduate, people move on. And I mean, you have to value that time and this bond with your brother. So you, you don't want to take it for granted because you'll never get it back. Playing with Sam Hubbard. Sir? Playing with Sam Hubbard. Yes, How much of a freak athlete is he and what makes him so good? Well, I mean, he's a, he's a tremendous athlete. Uh, I mean, I've seen him like get off a cut block, spin around, and, like make a play. So, I mean, playing with him, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a benefit having two, I mean, two defensive ends, three defensive ends. I mean, we, we're pretty deep at defensive end. And like all of us, we all like go out and we all have bring different games to the table. So, I mean, but having him as a player, it just shapes a whole nother like animal on that side of defense. Have you ever played dodgeball with him? Dodgeball? Yeah. We were on the same team. You were on the same team? <laughs> Good guy to have on your dodgeball you team? I guess so. <laughs> I like you noticed him playing dodgeball. Is he an explosive dodgeball player as, as much as he is on the field? That's why we asked, because I mean, Urban brought it up. Urban said, I guess. Discovered him playing dodgeball. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention to dodgeball games. <laughs> you don't, you can't win. break down the X's and O's of the dodgeball? Did you guys end up winning? I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> I know we won.